What's up, y'all? Franchise play again. This is the Milwaukee Bucks player faces, tattoos, and shoes. This is Monta Ellis. Now, he so far this year, he hasn't really been like the prime time scorer for the Bucks. It's really been Brandon Jennings. I don't know what the what they did to the headline on the back of him. I mean, either like he was sleeping on a bad pillow or something. I don't know why he's his. They made his headline like that in the back. I know it's kind of high, but it ain't that high. He's got some decent ink too on his arms. I kind of want the. I really kind of want the Bulls. Pro Wings got to change the mics. Favorite Jordans of all the time. I kind of want the Bulls to get up Monte Ellis. I used to be scared of it. I was like him and Rose would be a, a really small backcourt. But right about now, I do Luau Dang for Monte Ellis in a second. This is Brandon Jennings. I really wish they had this mohawk, fohawk, frohawk, whatever you want to call it. I wish I wish they had it where you can make stuff like this for creative players, but they don't. And but Brandon Jennings, right? He is balling, and you want to know why? Because he's a free agent at the end of the year, and he's trying to get his money. But he's balling. Those Under Armors, I don't know. I just can't wear them. I don't know why, but I just can't. And this is Urson Ilyasova. They changed him up a little bit. They made his head more flat. Um, I don't know why. It's something they kind of made him look like the gecko on the Geico commercials, with his head like real small, like a little amphibian or some lizard or something. Pro Wings, we got to change them out. Get that out of here. But Ersin Ilyasova, he's like, he's a dude that's talented, but don't get it don't get it twisted. He's not like a primetime score that you can really depend on. Samuel Delamba looked like a African dictator or something. No, he looked like he's like the prime minister of the Sudan, and he real rough on his people. No food. No food in February. That he just look like he don't play at all. Military at your house. You miss court date. Just crazy like that. That was him. This is Drew Gooden. I'm so glad he cut that little mess off the back of his head. The little island of hair he had on the back of his neck. I don't know if he was. I mean, that's like something you do if you lose a bet or if you trying to like have a certain cause for a charity or something. I think he just had that on his head because he's silly like that. But. He's an effort player, and he's a good dude to have coming off your bench. Oh, boy. Ekpe Udo. Man. Why does he look like Scooby-Doo or somebody or a big black Marmaduke? I don't know what is what is. Whoa, man. And you know what the bad thing about it is? He looked like my uncle. I got an uncle that looked just like Ekpe Udo. I don't. That's not good. Or, I don't know what to say about that. Luke Richard in Bahamute. Now, uh, I'm telling you, the Bucks lead the league in Africans. Africans or Haitians or people who look like they're African because Samuel Delamar is not African. He's actually Haitian, but he looked like he African. But this dude, Luke Richard in Bahamute, this dude here, he's another good bench player. But that's pretty much the Bucks are full of guys you love to have on your bench, but a lot of them start. That ain't good. Bino Udra. Maybe they just lead the league in international players, period. Maybe that's what it is. Because um, Bino Udra looked like a Croatian gangster. He just looked like he is in the Croatian syndicate. And uh, if there is one, somebody tell me if the Cro if Croatians have syndicates. So I'm sure they do. This is Mike Dunleavy Jr., uh, one of the most overrated players you'll ever see in your life, ever. From draft day all the way up to people still give him somewhat of some props but this dude makes he don't make big shots all he can really do is shoot even though he's you know six nine long arms he's just he just he's just there basically he's just there i've never been a big mike dunleavy fan and uh they made his head look like he's in a 50s uh pop band this is tobias now this tobias tobias harris is um went to tennessee Came out after freshman year. I would have liked to see him spend at least two or three more years. Not two or three. At least two more years in college. But, you know, hey, I ain't hating on nobody. Come out and get that dough. Come get the dough, Tobias. So, he came got his money. And we gave him his shoes because the pro wings weren't going to work. So, we good. Man, Larry, Sand Larry Sanders. Look at. Did they wake him up for this picture? Why does he have these crackish bags under his eyes like that? 
They look like him say, Larry, Larry, time to take your picture. Larry, wake up, Larry. Yeah, huh? Take a pic. <laughs> why y'all take that picture? And why I got my uniform on when I was asleep? That's what it looks like. It looked like he was, they woke him up in the, mi- in the middle of a, a nap, a daytime nap. I don't know what it was. But he had big bags under his eyes. This dude got so many tattoos, too. I mean. I, some of these cat, and then he got these ugly Converse on. These, I don't, and then the Bucks colors make them worse. It's, it's a, that's a bad thing happening with him. This is Deron Lamb, but it's really the kind of don't look like him to me for some reason. But I don't know if the ears don't stick out enough or what. It just kind of don't look like him for some. I don't know. It sums off. I don't know what it is. We definitely got to get rid of uh, these uh, pro wings. Get them out of here. These the Bucks colors. Yeah, that's the old Hardaways, the crossovers. I love them. I saw him, and he had those on in some picture. But Marquise Daniels, my man, looked like he is like the lost member from Dead Prayers. Y'all know who Dead Prayers is bigger than him. Ha, ah, hip. Oh, it's one of my favorite songs ever. But Marquise Daniels looked like he's supposed to be in Dead Prayers, and we just didn't know about it. So he's probably in a video, and we didn't know. But that's what he looked like on this video. Uh, on this video this is not this is a video but you know what the hell i'm talking about pro wings let's change him let's give him jay rich's old shoes he got some weird brand he wearing i think he wearing the same brand as jay rich so you can tell they don't have a really star-studded roster this is john henson this dude just look like he just the nicest guy ever just this just this is john john's so nice john just got on pro wings john gotta change his shoes John is a nice guy. That's what he just looked like. At, you know, he got a nasty streak in the inside playing defense on just a shot blocker, but he just looked like a nice guy. Give him these Kobe's. I saw him. He had those on in one of those pictures I saw. This is Joel Prisbilla. Can't stand him. Dirty, big, nasty, doofy. And they got him in this. He looked like a crazed Eminem fan. This is Stan. This has got to be Stan because his hair is not that light, but he looked like a bleach blonde Eminem fan like he showed up at a Marshall Mathers concert like you gotta sign my autograph or I'm gonna kill you later it just looks like that y'all subscribe this was the Milwaukee Bucks peace